Ominous Scriptures is a Belarusian death metal band who've been around for about 10 years or so. And their style is very much brutal death metal, but from a, a very specific uh, point of view where we step from the sort of aging greats of the 90s, such as Morbid Angel, Deicide and whatnot, and into the the sort of wave of brutality that hit around that, that point and carried through the first half of the 2000s. So what we get is something that is decidedly more technical, more complex, but still a bit mid-paced uh, in, in what they do in general. And, but they, they've retained the, uh, the sort of infernal, blasphemic touch that you would find in classic albums like Form Formula's Fatal to the Flesh or Early Crisian. And uh, certainly there's some deeds of flesh in their, their, their wheelhouse here. Um, and maybe that's the bigger point to make is that beyond like wanting to talk about immolation and hate eternal at the, uh, that sort of juncture between the 90s and the 2000s, we have to talk about like Discord and Defeated Sanity and less so Defeated Sanity and those kind of bands because they, uh, they'd fostered a different, really a different wave of death metal that was just texturally obsessed and uh, performative and athletic and pushing the boundaries of performance. And here, the idea isn't so much, I don't think, to uh, throttle as fast as they can, but to find interest, you know, interesting ways to uh, weave things together into a, uh, an infernal, brutal death metal moment that is still mid-paced. Uh, and knotted, knotted in place, and uh, kind of grotesque in the way that it it, fold, it unfolds. Now, to me, that really is the way that uh, band, like an album like Mark of the Legion really comes across. So, and maybe some certain Discord records uh, a little bit later on as they were approaching something a little bit more technical. Um, so that's my favorite kind of thing from that era. Uh, you know, I was listening to Deeds while a lot of people were really into Nile, and uh, it's kind of like uh, this record kind of spoke to me in that way. It is uh, something you don't see as much, or at least not done this well as often these days. So I was pretty excited to pick it up, and um, I'll, uh, uh, you can jump into a, a, a clip of. Um, Mangled Perceptions to check out some of the kind of their general sound and uh, and then uh, uh, check out the score that'll pop up in a second. Uh, otherwise, read the full review from there, get the full gist of it, and uh, see if that's your kind of thing. Definitely was mine, and uh, it w I consider it one of the better records of January. <laughs> 